Hi, this is Dr. Charles Parker. I'm going to give you one little hint. This is one of these common sense points that we see all the time. We have, it's, it's controversial, oddly enough, uh, because we see people who wind up disagreeing for whatever thoughtful reason. But I can tell you, following what I'm about to tell you will save you a whole lot of aggravation regarding immunity and immunity testing and consequences of following a diet that takes out the allergens that have been corrupting your system and thereby messing with your metabolism. So what happens is if you come in and you get tested and you have something like what I call the New Jersey trifecta, win, place, and show in my office, milk, eggs, wheat. Now that's milk and all milk products, eggs, and wheat, wheat products, and the variety of wheat products. I won't go into those details in this video right here, but the bottom line is if we discover this, after testing and we see what's going on and we recommend that you go off of them and we give you very specific advice about how to go off of them please don't go back to your nutritionist in california who said you've been off of that for three months now now you can go back and eat whatever you want to i'm strongly recommending that you don't do that now i'm cutting into my own business by telling you that because if you don't listen to me on this point you'll have to call me back and I'll tell you, whether it's a phone message, Skype, FaceTime, whatever it is, I'll say, what happened? And we'll go over the whole thing. And the bottom line, somehow it'll come out that you went off that original diet. Now, what happens in that situation is that the person goes back to being physiologically corrupted. Now, I don't know every detail about what goes on with that corruption, but I can tell you that if a person is allergic to a food substance, that allergy doesn't go away. Now, what could happen is the gut can heal. That's a good thing. But it's sort of like poison ivy. If you take poison ivy and rub it on your arm, well, you're going to have a, an acute poison ivy reaction. And if you wait 10 years and then... Don't put any poison ivy in your arm, but by the way, you go walking through a woods full of poison ivy with the idea that you really don't have a poison ivy problem anymore, you could be very seriously compromised walking through a woods full of poison ivy. When I was a kid down in southern Missouri, we had a kid who was very allergic to poison ivy. He walked through a poison ivy fire where they were burning poison ivy. He was hospitalized for a long time because the toxins came down on him and he got it, you know, relatively in a way, circumstantially. So, but the bottom line here is we need to follow those rules and stick with them because what's going to happen is the meds will not work again. Problems will occur. The cytokines affect brain function. And the bottom line is we'll have to talk again. It's going to be much easier for you to follow the rules, stick with the program, <laughs> and it should work out much better in the long run. Thanks for your attention. Have a great day. See you later.